Welcome to this presentation brought to you by myself, Stephen Desmond, with MBL Seminars. It's entitled SIL, i.e. the Community Infrastructure Levy, and the CON 29R Local Search Inquiry Form. The reason why we're doing this course is, first of all, it's um, ideal for residential conventions who want to know more about the levy. But I'm also mindful that there are many inquiries on the CON 29 form specifically about the levy. So I want to have a look at what those inquiries mean, what kind of answers are we looking for, and what follow-up inquiries might we be looking at. This session will be focusing primarily on the implications of the questions on the CON 29R form for residential conveyances. So my first port of call will be to looking at CPSC inquiries, which will be the next slide. The next slide is about the SIL form. And if you're acting for a commercial client, you may well be looking at using the CPSC one form. This is entitled General Pre-Contract Inquiries for All Commercial Property Transactions. Section 21 of the form, version 4.0, contains various SIL-related inquiries. These include any future SIL liability relating to the property, any notice or correspondence relating to any existing or future SIL liability in respect to the property, any assumption of liability notice, protection against assumption of liability being withdrawn or transferred or against default liability, or any SIL relief that has been claimed. Now, there are no equivalent questions on any of the Law Society's residential property transaction protocol forms. So this might be an inquiry from, for example, a developer that is buying a piece of land where the original developer was liable for payments of SIL. So the inquiries might not be necessarily relevant to a residential purchaser, but they are the only standard inquiries that we have available and they can be modified as need be.